Hi everyone, now I will show you the step for eClaim settings and how to use eClaim. Normally, user can use any internet browser like Google Chrome or Firefox and then key in the address www.iloginhr.com. At first, I will show user login as administrator screen. In login mode, choose to administrator, key in company code, login ID and password, and then click login. After login to admin screen, next, Point to system setup, company profile. In this page, allow user to update for company address, phone number, or fax number. In special setting, user can use system default SMTP or company SMTP. If user plan to use company SMTP, they may need to consult their IT personnel for company SMTP info. Next, in advanced security protocol, allow user to set password minimum requirement conditions. User also can set default tab for admin or default tab for employee login. Below here, allow user to upload for company logo or company banner. After user complete all the setting, click save button. In e-storage page, we allow user to manage those upload or download files. Example, choose to employee photo. And then click upload button. And then browse for employee photo. And choose employee photo accordingly and click open and then click Start Upload. In Change Password page, allow user to change admin ID password. Password minimum 6 character with mixture of alphabet and digit. After user key in the new password and confirm password, then click Save. In sub-admin access module, allow user to create sub-admin ID. First, click on the Add button. Key in the user ID. Key in password. Key in username and key description and then example in general tab user just take those module that allow this sub admin to update or access And then in eMaster tab, we just take those modules that we allow user to edit or update. In eClaim tab, we also take those modules that we allow the sub-admin ID to edit or update. 
and then click Save. In Employee Access Module, System Default having Applicant Code and Approval Code. First, click on the Applicant Code. And then in General tab, just take those modules that you allow applicant to access or view. And then in eClaim tab, click those modules that you allow applicant to use. And then click Save. Next, click on the approval code. In general tab, take those modules that allow approval to view or access. In eClaim tab, take those modules that allow for approval to access or edit. And then click Save. In table of code, for those users with QuickPay system, most of the code and description able to import from QuickPay, except for company and division. For those users without QuickPay system, they also can create the code and description manually. Example point to department. Click the Add button, key in the code and description, and click Add. User may ignore calendar group setup because this setup normally only apply for ELIP system. Next, point to eClaim, Claim Setup, Claim Item Code. In Claim Item Code, allow user to update item description in each claim type. Example, in traveling, we have mileage and toll. Now we add in the new description, parking. After update those description that you required and click save. Then we back to eClaim, claim setup, claim entitlement. In Claim Entitlement, allow user to create entitlement for each claim type. Click on the Add button to add in the new entitlement. Key in the entitlement code and description. In Claim Category, we choose Medical Claim. If user would like to export claim to QuickPay, user have to update the claim code accordingly. And then now we set the limitation max per application, example 50 ringgit max per application. 100 ringgit max per month, 500 ringgit max per year, and we do the same setting for tender claim and click save.
Next, back to e claim, claim setup, due date setup. In this screen, allow user to set claim submission due date from January up to December. User can click on the calendar to choose the due date for every month. After completed, then click Save. Next, go to eClaim, Claim Setup, Approval Group Setup. In this screen, allow user to create approval group according to each department or each approval group. User click on Add button to add in the new approval group. Key in the code and description. and choose the approval name for your information in eClaim approval group all will be in hierarchy mode in email cc copy user can key in any email they would like to cc after that click save Next, point to eMaster, Employee Master, and then click on the employee number that user wish to update for claim data. In action column, choose Edit Biodata, click Next, and scroll to the bottom. In Claim Approval Group, choose approval group accordingly and click save back to action column and choose edit claim setup click next from this screen choose claim type and claim entitlement then click save if user would like to update claim type and claim entitlement by batch point to eMaster batch module batch employee claim entitlement for your information this module will override previous Claim type and claim entitlement set up in Employee Master. Next, choose claim type and claim entitlement and choose employee number. After that, click Save and then click OK to proceed the update. Then system will show batch entry module completed. If user would like to check on the claim type and claim entitlement that attach in employee master, point to eMaster report. Choose claim setup report and click next. After that, choose Employee and click Preview Report. If user would like to update Claim Approval Group by Bash, point to eMaster, Bash Module, Bash Employee Claim Approval Group.
first we choose on a poor group and then choose those employee that belong to this claim a poor group and click save If user would like to check on claim approval group that attach in employee master, point to e master, batch module, batch employee claim approval group, and then click on preview. and click next button and then choose employee and click preview report after time claim time and claim entitlement set up in employee master point to e claim Claim management by employee. And click on employee number. And choose claim history. And click next. This model will allow user to do backdate entry for previous month claim usage amount. First, choose claim type and click add button. First, we choose claim type, medical claim and choose month of January and choose date and key in clinic name and key in the amount and click save After user done backdate entry in claim management by employee, point to report and choose claim entitlement report, choose claim type and click next. and choose employee number and click preview report in claim entitlement report user allowed to check on total entitlement total usage and total balance If user would like to check on claim detail report, in report column, choose the monthly claim taken information, choose claim type, and choose month, and click next button, and choose employee, and click preview report. In monthly claim taken information report, user will be able to view the detail for each claim. If employee would like to edit or amend some claim info after submission, admin user have to log in to admin page and point to e-claim and point to undo submission.
after that admin user have to choose the month and the employee name and click confirm to undo the submission for employee